Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Ebony here, back with another video for you guys. Sorry, it's been a crazy long time since the last time I've been able to post a video onto this channel. But, new year, new videos. So, thumbs up for that. Today, I'm going to give you guys my top 5 Google Chrome extensions. So, let's get started. Number one is Pocket. Pocket was formerly known as Read It Later, which was a popular application. And I'm pretty sure Pocket is still pretty cool, but you just don't hear it that much. But Pocket allows you to save articles, tweets, or something from the internet onto your pocket, well, into your pocket, so you can read it later, whether it's on your mobile device or on your desktop, on your website. Coming in at number two is Instagram for Chrome. I'm a big Instagram user. I don't post as much, but I love to keep in contact with the users I do follow on Instagram. And if you have an Instagram, go ahead, leave your Instagram username down below. I know you want to. And my Instagram username will also be down below in that description box. Just an FYI. But Instagram for Chrome basically allows you to take the Instagram application from your phone into your web browser. No, you cannot post photos mainly because Instagram kind of locks that down to mobile devices anyways so maybe one day we'll be able to do that but for now it's mobile devices only for taking pictures anyways and number three is session buddy session buddy basically allows you to save your tabs and your windows for future use whether it be a project that you're working on a paper and you have all your links open but they're for later you can save them on session buddy i used this several times when it came to writing papers especially because i use different computers with google chrome synced so i can save my entire window my all my tabs and for me i have like several tabs open so it's like stretched all the way across but i can have it all open and i can use it on any computer because i save them so this session buddy I recommend you at least go check it out the link will be down below, and that's for all the extensions I'm talking about from this video. Number four is Adblock or Adblock Beta. Uh, both of them work the same, and both of them work equally as great. Um, but they pretty much just block any apps on any website that you set it to block. You can also set for ad for ads to be allowed on websites, or you can just block them from every website. Your complete choice. Um, so any ad, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter or some kind of tech blog or any blog you're reading from, any ads on there will be automatically blocked and you won't even have to see it. Give me that number five and my final pick is Chrome to mobile. Chrome to mobile used to be for Android users only, but now that the Google Chrome browser is now allowed on iOS devices, you can send web pages to yourself to your mobile device. The only thing is you have to be signed into your email address on the Google Chrome and also on your mobile device, but other than that, you're good to go. And those are my top five. If you have a different list or even have an extension, a Google Chrome extension, you think I should check out, then leave it down in the comments box below and I'll love to check it out. Thumbs up the ones you like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.